In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export your OBS scene collections from one computer to another. Now we're gonna be using a new plugin by Elgato called Connect. Full disclosure, by the time I record this video, this is Windows only, so if you're on Mac, again, there's another way of doing it, which is the traditional way, it's more manual. Now the way I'm gonna show you guys, this is more kind of like automated, right? It's just you click on one thing, and then it's going to export everything, including your media files, your plugins, everything they have built into that scene collection and including your microphone, your camera information, every single thing that you have. And then it's going to export that. You can save it and then go to another computer. Let's say you're traveling, you want to export to a laptop that you're going to be using to stream while you are actually away or you want to send it to a different pc in fact i have my pc right there sometimes i want to use that pc for streaming and let's say i want to stream exactly the same show using exactly the same setting i can actually export that to maybe a usb key and go open the same scene collections on a different computer so that's possible and let's not take much time let's get actually into it what's going on guys my name is sam you're watching a lot of production tips and tools helping you master live streaming so first of all we're gonna get the plugin and to get it you want to go to elgato.com slash is it slash marketplace you know they have some other things in there but i'm gonna leave a link down below but you can go to elgato marketplace you can just type in google and it's gonna show up or and you can search for marketplace connect now this is originally made for what Elgato calls the makers, people who sell presets and, you know, scene collections for OBS on the Elgato marketplace. You can do this if you want to sell your own, you know, presets or your own scene collections to the Elgato marketplace. However, you can even do it for yourself, which is going to be what I'm going to show you today. So once you get there, you're going to go to Marketplace Connect, which is the plugin, and then you're going to click to get the plugin. It's going to download into your download folder. As always, make sure OBS is closed and open it. So once OBS opens, you can go to under tools and then you're going to see the plugin is going to be installed right here. So it's going to show up here. It's going to be called Elgato Marketplace Connect. Now, the first time you need to configure it, so you want to make sure you click to it. It's going to ask you to sign in. You don't have to sign in, but if you have a marketplace kind of login info or you have, you know, created an account, you can go ahead and sign in. If not, you can simply go to this icon right here, this gear icon. Okay, if you don't want to log in and this is where you can decide some of the settings. Okay, so you can choose your default camera if you want. So let's say mine, I can call it black magic design and default microphone. I can choose my roadcaster duo. All right. And as you can see, every time basically I use it, it's going to show up as my default microphone. Okay, again, you don't have to do this, but yeah, for sure. Another thing is you need to go here. Where it says turn on maker tools. Okay, because if it's not turned on, nothing will show up. You're not going to be able to export or import. So we want to make sure you click this thing and make sure you check and then hit save. OK, so now once you're done, we can close it. If I go back to tools, usually you, you should be able to see two, these two options. The first one is called export maker scene collection. And the other one is called import maker scene collection. So one is for you to export your scene collections. The other one is for you to import scene collections that were made by maker. Okay. Again, it makes the process easier. There's always a way you can always export your scene collection by using this button under scene collection. But the only problem is when you export using the actual traditional OBS way, it does not export your media files. So if you have like some videos playing back, some cameras, even plugins, you won't even be able to save plugins. The presets will be saved, but when you install on another computer, you will need to know which plugins exactly that you use. So to make sure you download them first, but you also need to relink all the media files that you actually needed, which is, it could be a long process. I mean, it's doable, but you have to be extra careful. But with this one, everything is included. I'm going to show you how cool it is. Okay. So right now I'm going to do a quick demo for you guys. As you can see, I have this show right here. I have a timer. I have a guest camera. I have another camera here and I have a video kind of thing scene. I call the video. This is just a random show and I have like two people that will pretend I will say these are guests, right? And what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead. As you can see, I call this scene. I called it blank. 
okay now this has nothing to do with profile this is just scene collection all right so what we're gonna do the first thing we're going to export this scene collection all right so uh, what i need to do is i want to make sure i have blank obs checked which is the collection that we want to export so and you're gonna go to tools and then click export maker scene collection so as you can see it's going to show you i will say it's a review your export so it's gonna tell you hey you have five media files that were found to bundle right so it's gonna show you where they're saved on your computer and all you need to do is just agree because you know, i don't have any other choice anyways hit continue and then it's gonna ask you to name the video source choose how your video sources will appear for users okay first camera so this is where you can make it you know if you want to sell this preset it could be something like add your camera here but you know if it's just for you you can just call it may say main camera they say you have multiple cameras so we can call it main camera for example okay and you can call it whatever you want now this is another part that's really cool it's going to ask you to add required plugins so in this preset i know specifically that I use advanced mask plugin. Basically, it's gonna show you some of the plugins that you have installed on your computer. I also know that I used the source clone plugin and stroke glow shadow plugin. I didn't use the move plugin. I didn't use the advanced scene switcher and I didn't use the 3D effect. So I'll leave those alone and then click continue. Next, it's gonna ask me to save it. So I can call it uh, export OBS blank scene again you can call it whatever you want you can save it anywhere you want on your computer it doesn't matter when the one's done it's just going to export the bundle what we're gonna do after it's done we're going to delete this because i want to demo it on the same computer i don't have any another windows computer to demo how to import but yeah we're going to delete it and then i'm going to re-import in here so you guys can see the process all right now it's done as you can see it's completed and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go here as you can see it's still selected and i'm gonna click remove and we're gonna get rid of it so now we have everything exported what we're gonna do is we're going to now import back that the scene collection now we're not gonna use the scene collection we're gonna go back to tools and then pretending this was a different computer and then we're gonna go to import maker scene collection we're gonna click to that and then once we go there, we're gonna go where we actually saved our clips. I mean, our scene collection here, which is under download and it's gonna show up here, export OBS blank scenes. This is the one that we actually exported. Open it, click to it, and it's gonna start loading the scene collection. This may take time depending on how much video files and things I have included in there. As you can see, it's not gonna prompt me for the plugins because again, you know, I already have the plugins installed. It's gonna ask you to name it. So we're gonna name it blank OBS and then click continue. Now you're gonna choose your camera here. As you can see, it's gonna ask me to name the camera. So you want you to choose, make sure you choose a camera because the camera name may be different, maybe using a different capture card on the other computer they're gonna be installing this scene collection on. Now we're gonna go ahead, microphone. Again, you go ahead and choose your main microphone and click continue and boom. And as you can see, everything has been installed right now. As you can see, again, my first scene, which is my timer, guest camera, which is this scene right here, and then guest camera with no filters. And then I got my video scene, which was, you know, two windows with two people. And I got all my microphone, even my cameras. If I go to this scene right here and I hide the main, you can see that my camera is there. So everything really is there and it's working fine. My plugins and everything are all applied and the media files, guys, remember all these are videos that are actually playing back in loops. Everything has been imported at the same time and just the show looks the way it was. So this is super, super helpful. Guys, if you have a show that have built in OBS and you want to send it to a different computer, this will be a game changer. All right, guys, if you're getting value from this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, Elgato also released another cool feature that will allow you to have a visual stream deck on the top of having your actual physical stream deck. You can have a stream deck on your screen where you can actually switch scenes control basically your obs or any other thing that you need to control with the stream deck but the only difference is gonna be virtual so it's gonna be on your screen and they gave you like i would say unlimited buttons when it comes to those virtual stream decks so if you want to know how that works because it's really really cool you want to make sure you check out the video that i made 
showing you how actually it works and how to install it so go ahead check it out and i'm sure you're gonna love it all right guys take care